that we need to patch our operating system. So patching is recommended to fix security vulnerabilities and uh, some other bugs. Along with the fixes, patching introduces a couple of enhancements which can improve your system performance or usability. To patch a system, there are a couple of uh, prerequisites. First is, you need a valid YUM repository, vendor supported YUM repository or you need a satellite server if you go to your internal satellite server in your network. Second thing, uh, if your change management procedure is applicable, you need to take care of downtime raising changes. I'm not going to discuss on that, that's a different topic, but I've just uh, kept a note. Third thing, which is uh, very important, you need uh, enough free space in slash var and slash usr file system because when you patch, so it need uh, space for new patches or updated patches. So you need uh, enough free space. So on recommendation friends, uh, just pay attention on this one. This is very important. Uh, first thing, you sh must test your patching process or strategy on your test or NP system first because it's not recommended to patch your production system directly. So always test it uh, on your non-prod systems. If everything went fine, then touch your production system. That's a recommendation. Other thing, uh, before patching a system, just validate application or database running on that particular Red Hat system, Red Hat or CentOS system is supported with the latest patch levels. Sometimes it happens uh, that particular application version is not supported on uh, new patch release or new OS release. So just keep in mind. Third thing, always use vendor or OEM recommended patches. Like don't go to some website, download uh, some funky package uh, which may break your system or uh, may introduce some new bugs in your system. Last thing and uh, I take it very important before patching a system always take uh, backup or if you are running uh, your operating system on virtual hardware let's say VMware or Amazon just take a snapshot it's very quick and uh, efficient way to restore in case any backup needed. So for VMware you can take VMware snapshot for system or instance running on Amazon you can use EBS snapshot. If you are running your Linux on a physical system, in case you go to OS mirroring, so just break the mirror so you can back out on your secondary disk in case required. During activity, three simple steps. First thing, make sure application or database is not running on the system because uh, if application or system running, uh, that may break. Uh, application or database because reboots would be needed and uh, when while you update patches so it may introduce some bugs or uh, some problems in your application database so always recommended to get your application database stopped first second thing we have to do our patching i'm going to discuss on the steps in technical session third thing once patching is done get your pvt or sanity done for your application or database that's it so friends, in case rollback needed, you can simply restore the snapshot image. So friends, uh, that was a theoretical thing. So let's jump to practical session. Okay, I am uh, on my system now. So friends, uh, patching process is 100% same on CentOS or RHEL with version 6 or 7 because uh, both versions use YUM. So I'm going to discuss uh, patching process using YUM. So first thing, let me show you my Red Hat release, uname minus A, okay, let's check kernel level. The kernel level is 2.632573. This is the current level. Let me check OS release. This system is on uh, CentOS 6.5. As I said, process will be similar on uh, if you're using on Red Hat 7. To patch your system, first uh, you may need to take snapshot, that's a recommendation. Take snapshot, uh, this is my VMware console and this is my VM running VM. 
on which I'm going to do patching to take snapshot I will uh, take snapshot in VMware on VM then snapshot I'm taking a snapshot so I will say pre patching OS so I will put command uh, snapshot taken before patching you can put whatever comment you feel relevant so I am just putting here like this is a pre patching okay so friends uh, I and uh, that's away on VMware so I have taken snapshot let's verify snapshot uh, is taken if you see here pre patching this snapshot uh, we just taken so this is the snapshot in case need to revert I can simply restore it in couple of seconds okay so snapshot is taken back to our putty session so first thing we need uh, connectivity with valid yum repositories let's validate uh, which repositories I got here so I can run command yum repo list this will list all the repositories where I'm connecting if you see uh, these are the base repositories I'm using CentOS repositories which are uh, vendor repositories or you can say OEM repositories so all the updates will be fetched from uh, these particular sites or these repositories okay so to begin uh, to do patching uh, I can run yum update here if you see on my system uh, this will be new installation and if you see uh, as I run command earlier so earlier kernel was 573 here it will be updated with 642 and these are the patches or RP RPMs which will get updated uh, if I continue with this pack patching process so just for one thing I'm just skipping it I'm set telling it no I don't want to patch I want to tell you one thing maybe let's say uh, if you want to do patching yum update press enter agree yes your system will be patched and uh, just reboot uh, your system in case you want to skip any package let's say I want to skip I don't want to upgrade uh, Apache which is HTTP, HTTPD I can uh, skip it with the uh, HTTPD so only Apache process will be not uh, updated Apache RPM rest everything will get updated that's up to you if you want to use that uh, but here we are just discussing about patching procedure so I will not skip so I'm repeating in case you want to skip couple of RPMs to be updated you can use dash X followed by RPM name or you can use dash dash exclude followed by RPM so that's a way but here I'm not skipping anything I'm going to patch uh, all current packages I'm just running yum update enter so friends if you see uh, all this data all these uh, new packages uh, will be downloaded from CentOS repo I'm saying yes so this is the download size 71 MB so I'm uh, just pausing uh, because uh, it may take a couple of minutes to download package uh, because I am directly downloading from uh, net so friends download is completed now RPMs getting updated so friends uh, patches already updated now cleanup task is going what cleanup mean it will clean up the old version of uh, RPMs to clear up the space and uh, EM is very intelligent utility it will take care of all dependencies dependencies all cleanups all uh, interrelation between um, packages so and uh, EM is available on your uh, Red Hat or CentOS machines by default okay so after cleanup there is another task called verification verifies whether all packages got updated su successfully or not if any error it will display error and uh, this is the summary this is the new RPM installed because uh, it obsolete the old kernel package and uh, this is the new one and uh, 
these are the updated RPMs. So it is successfully completed here if we can see complete. So let's verify kernel now. I'm doing first I will run unim minus r. Sorry, typo. Unim minus r. If you see this is kernel level uh, 573. This is the current kernel from which I am booted now. Let me see what is the new kernel. Okay, friends, if you see this is the new kernel level 642. So my system upgraded from 573 to 642. But right now I am active from kernel 573 which is my present kernel. When I reboot, my system will boot default uh, from this particular kernel. Okay, friends, so let's take reboot. To take reboot, what I recommend, uh, you can uh, simply fire init6 command here. But for uh, reboot purpose, wherever possible, if we have console, I always recommend to use console. So that you can uh, check uh, what's going on uh, on the console or that server. In case of Amazon, the console is not uh, there, so you can simply monitor whatever the window they have given. But in case of VMware or physical server, you can use console. So I'm on console now. I'm logging on to server now. Here I will pass command in at six, enter. So my system is getting rebooted. If you can see on screen, it is uh, saying 24, it's already gone, but it, it, it was booting from new kernel 642. So, let system boot. Don't worry about that uh, fail thing, that's uh, auto mount, I have not uh, configured anything auto mount, so I enable that service, so, okay, my system is booted, let me jump to putty session again, here, let me clear my screen, I'm logging in as root, okay, friends, so we are on uh, the server now, let me change the screen layout. Okay, we are on uh, server now. Let's run unim minus r now. If you see, my system is up from 642, which is the latest kernel, which we recently installed. And uh, let's check etc release file. Earlier, if you remember, it was showing CentOS 6.5. Let's see what is the latest one now. So now our server is on CentOS 6.8. So we got our system upgraded from 6.5 to 6.8. And friends, in case you are running your system on uh, Red Hat or CentOS 7, let's say 7.0, when you run same command yum, yum update, it will take it to latest level. Uh, at the time of recording this session, 7.2 is the latest Red Hat 7 release and 7.3 is beta, but uh, that is not available as of now. So whatever the latest release, it will take you to that level so if you want to verify you can run same command again no harm because your application is not started we have not asked our application team to start application so if you see it is saying no package marked for update so it means our system is on latest kernel level now or i can say latest patch level so friends uh, that's it about patching thanks for watching this video in case you have any query or if you have any suggestion you can post your comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot thanks again bye bye